Uh, Richie Connell. <laughs> it's a lock in. <laughs> Thank you and welcome. Hi, everybody. Uh, look, thank you for your audience uh, on a day like this. I know that everybody would probably be, prefer to be outside enjoying a, a great Canterbury day. But look, anyway, m my name is uh, Richie Connell, a uh, local resident for four years, uh, and I'm here to urge you as councillors, decision makers, to look at the funding allocation, supporting, promoting, and enabling the arts and cultural endeavours across our city. As part of a rich and vibrant city, we need to do more so that we're not left behind. Now, my submission focused on the theme of rebuilding the cultural and artistic fabric of the city alongside the bricks and mortars that support this, and I want to take this opportunity to expand on this a bit. As a ratepayer and a post-earthquake entrant now domiciled and invested here for the long term, this is so very important for the enrichment of the local community, a community that we all have the privilege of both living in and enjoying. And while we know that the investment in buildings, facilities, placemaking and infrastructure is critical to the continued rebuild of our city, we will not have much hope in regenerating the city's vibrancy and creative authority without the considered support and actions from you all as decision makers in driving forward a stronger arts strategy. This, in my humble and hopeful opinion, can be a defining factor in the rebuilding of the city and what it is known for. Not only that, it can be a huge factor in what the city can and will be known for. So a sporting colossus, yes, and I can already hear from today there's been a lot of chat around uh, those kinds of stadia. A city of gardens and green space, a place where outdoors are on our doorstep, a tech hub, hub and uh, environmental hub perhaps. But a cultural and artistic renaissance would complement these factors in a very powerful way. But we need a strategy and we need investment. And digging a little deeper into this, as recently as April, the Council's art strategy was highlighted in the local news, where uh, Canterbury Uni lecturer Alison Loveridge commented on that in the short term, short to medium term, and I quote, Christchurch's chances of emulating the most successful uh, New Zealand artistic, I've just got your free Wi-Fi come up there, thanks for that. Um, Christchurch's chances of emulating the more successful New Zealand art scenes of Auckland and Wellington are slight. So this is my concern, uh, considering the next 10 years of planning. Yes, we need to have the infrastructure, but we also need to frame the cultural fabric to support this. Local artists, musicians, poets, thespians, uh, comedians, culture groups, you name it, they all form an important piece here. A cumulative effect connecting these people, providing the pathway and opportunity of investment to the wider community can enjoy this is a very positive story for the council, and this is something I would be happy to see my rates continue to support. And to be a truly successful city, we need to invest and harness in the intangibles here, make them tangible for the ratepayers, the community and the people who want to come and visit and play here. So key themes that kind of motivate this, I believe, are one, invest in the arts and the cultural fabric for the people of the city. Two, grow artistic, artistic endeavour as a priority. Three, don't rely on the private sector as they can't do it all. Four, be the connector of those who can deliver the artistic content. And five, let's make Christchurch a cultural and artistic hub that we can all be proud of and underpin this with a clear and working arts strategy. So increased funding uh, to nurture and engage the arts and cultural community from youth, student, mature individuals, groups and organisations will help put Christchurch's engagement and purpose for the arts well back in focus. We desperately need to retain and empower these communities to make sure this 10-year plan also sets the course for future development. It's critical. Christchurch activates arts hand in hand with the facilities. It is, cr it is critical Christchurch invests in what comes in and around the buildings that engages through art, music, performance and other installations or experiences. We can be different and we can be leaders. And the risk is we end up building the facilities and services required for a functioning city but we leave the regeneration and rebuilding as people left floundering. Stuck perhaps in the suburbs, ducking in and out of shopping malls in an attempt to entertain ourselves and be around people. The risk is Christchurch is a rebuilt city, but doesn't have the soul to engage. The strength of the city is its people, as you will well know. Arts and culture and creativity are the foundations of a healthy and centred city. All the great cities in the world have a rich and diverse cultural cultures, and arts are at their centre. And that's what I believe Christchurch needs not only to invest funds into, 
but to get on and deliver in the everyday. And in conclusion to my submission, if we commit to building an art strategy that supports the cultural fabric, if we invest and support in the artistic endeavour in the local community, then we will deliver a rounded experience for all those who live and visit. And that would make me a proud ratepayer. Thank you. Did you like that? <laughs> I've had my um, microphone off. Thank you very much for your submission. Could you e email through um, your presentation? Because it is obviously a lot more detailed than the one that you uh, provided in writing. Um, but it was very powerful. So thank you very much. No problem. Appreciate your time. Cool. Thank you.